Welcome back to California Forest News. In one of our previous episodes, we spoke about the type of high intensity wildfire that we're experiencing all across the state this entire fire season. How did our wildfires get to this type of intensity? The answer may actually lie with another type of wildfire, low intensity fire. Let us explain. Hundreds of years ago, low-intensity fire ignited by lightning or indigenous people routinely burned the mixed conifer forest of the Sierra Nevada. Research shows that the fire return interval, how frequently fire burns a landscape, was generally less than 20 years in a broad belt from the California foothills all the way up through the mixed conifer forest. That means on average, every 20 years or so, a place like where I'm standing right now would experience low intensity fire in some form. Like nature's cleanup crew, these low intensity fires routinely burned and thus removed shade tolerant species, forest litter, dead and down trees, brush, ladder fuels, even the occasional full mature tree. Most tall, mature conifer trees evolved to withstand low intensity fire with resistant bark and their crowns high above the flames. Routine low intensity wildfire created a resilient forest that was predominantly covered in big trees with little understory. There were also scattered openings and some places of dense vegetation. It was a mosaic landscape. We call this a fire adapted ecosystem. In these forests, most species depended on low intensity fire to regenerate, to recycle nutrients, and to maintain habitat. As modern populations in California continued to grow, our forests started to change. We expanded right into these fire adapted ecosystems. We built entire communities, including infrastructure, like reservoirs that store water for drinking, downstream agriculture, and hydrological power. Wildfire posed a risk to our communities and this infrastructure. So they were put out. Here in California, between the U.S. Forest Service, Cal Fire, our partner, and all the great professional local resources, we've built the largest wildland firefighting organization the world has ever known but perhaps we were too good. Low intensity wildfire has now been excluded from the Sierra Nevada for over a century. When you take away low intensity fire from a fire adapted ecosystem, you're taking away nature's cleanup crew. And the result is this. Each year that passes, there's a buildup of more hazardous materials, shade tolerant species, brush, forest litter, dead and down trees, it's cumulative. That's why wildfires today are burning more intense and they're burning more intense than they were 40 or 30 or even 10 years ago. There's more material to burn every year. I mean, look at all this. If someone's careless with a campfire right next door, that fire's gonna burn all this with probably a little high intensity, which is gonna catch all these ladder fuels on fire. And that fire's just gonna climb the ladder fuels right up into the crowns, and next thing you know, we have a high intensity crown fire. And therein lies the relationship between high intensity wildfire and low intensity wildfire. The absence of routine low intensity wildfire creates high intensity wildfire. The type of wildfire that's threatening our communities and our natural resources all across the state. We hope you stay tuned for our next episode. We'll be discussing how the United States Forest Service and our partners are returning low intensity fire to our California forests and landscapes. Thanks for watching.